No other location on this earth is placed better to talk about time and peace than Geneva. As the capital of precise watches, Geneva can watch closely whether timely progress is being made to achieve peace. Peace is like a complex piece of machinery. Thousands of people work every day and dedicate their lives to tackling different challenges. A peaceful society is not one that is void of conflict, but one where all voices can negotiate a shared understanding of peace. Through justice for the individual, for communities, for societies, and only by working and bringing about justice can we really hope for peace. Otherwise, it's just a meaningless maintaining of the status quo. The problem in the world is that we've just forgotten that we belong to each other. So how do we stand against forgetting that? How do we imagine a circle of compassion and then imagine nobody standing outside of it? When we meet and get to know each other, we understand that behind every other person is another person, completely different from myself, and yet very much just like me. So in order to use science as an attempt to build a bridge for peace, I think it is essential to take a project which is in the interests of all sides and where all sides feel that they can contribute to it. La paix ne peut pas venir de l'extérieur. La paix est une construction que ces sociétés elles-mêmes doivent pouvoir engager. Ce dont il faut surtout se souvenir, c'est que la paix n'est jamais acquise, même à Genève, même en Suisse, où tout semble aller pour le mieux. You may ask, well, is it even possible to get peace in Syria? And didn't they all come here to Geneva and failed even to talk to each other or get anything done? And I tell you, and from first-hand experience in brokering and being part of many track to negotiations, that yes, it's possible. I can remember every single man, woman and child they took on board of my ship. All of them with eyes full of gratitude and tears of joy. And they can also remember every single action. I remember the stamina, the agony, the fear felt every time I received a, dis a distress call. Some people ask me, I go around Italy, say, why you come? The answer is because we don't have any solutions. It's the only way. When I take the boards, I know 99% I'm going to die. I have only 1% I will be saved. So we have to be where the people are. We have to listen to what the people, the owners, tell us. That, to me, is the key. Well, we believe that change doesn't necessarily have to happen with some big or momentous event. We believe that it's possible to bring about change simply by doing, creating, or sharing something that challenges the little things that we think of as normal in our lives. If kinship happened to be our goal, we would not be promoting justice and peace we'd be celebrating it. What we choose to address matters.